I'm shooting this on July 4, 2023, so it's American Independence Day. So a very happy belated Independence Day to all our American subscribers and my many American friends over in the States. But being July 4, it's also time to reflect because we are now over halfway into 2023. And I have a question for you. Those goals, those resolutions you set at the beginning of the year, how are they working out for you? If you've achieved everything you've wanted to achieve to this date, fantastic, congratulations, more kudos to you. However, if you're falling short and you're not really achieving at the level you want to be achieving at, then it's time to ask yourself, three really important questions to make sure the next six months are like the next six months. G'day and welcome, my name is Willem and on this channel I share the wisdom and the philosophies that Mr. Jim Rohn shared with me many, many years ago. By consistently applying and taking action on what he taught me, I've been able to lead a life on my terms. And through this channel, I certainly wish the same for you. Now, Mr. Rohn was an avid goal setter. In fact, he says that setting goals was one of the key reasons that took him from being ordinary and just getting by to becoming a millionaire within six years. And so goal setting, I too believe, is one of those important things that everybody must do. But it's all very well to set goals, but then how do you start achieving them? So in this video, I want to discuss three questions that you should be asking yourself that I ask myself around this time of the year to see if I'm actually making the progress I should be making. Now, the very first question is this. Do I have a detailed plan to achieve what it is I want to achieve. So let's say you're weighing 90 kilo and you want to get down to 75 kilo. And that's a goal that you set on January 1. And last week you got on the scales and you found that you're still weighing 89 kilo. Why? Well, most likely is you don't have a detailed plan as to how it is you want to achieve your goal. Do you know how many calories you should be consuming every day? Do you know how much exercise you should be doing? If you don't know those numbers, if you don't have a plan for achieving them, then you will certainly just drift from day to day. And the problem with drift is this, you cannot drift to the top of a mountain. Whenever I find I'm not achieving the goals that I've set myself, usually it's because I don't have a detailed plan and I don't have time allocated on my calendar to achieve it. So that's the very, very first question. Do you have a detailed plan to achieve the goal that you set back in January? The second question is this, am I too focused on the result and not clear enough of exactly where I am at the moment? You may want to weigh 75 kilo, but the reality is you've got to step on the scales and find out exactly where you are today. Once you have a starting number, now you can make a plan. Many people I know, for instance, in business set goals and plans for profitability, for turnover. And yet if you ask them what their current profitability is, they wouldn't be able to tell you. They don't reconcile every day. They're not aware of who owes the money and to whom they owe money. So it's really important to start with where you are right now. And sometimes that's not pretty. I remember Mr. Rohn always used to say, be totally honest with yourself. If it's ugly, call it ugly. If it's horrible, call it horrible. It is what it is. It doesn't have to stay that way, but you've got to start there. And that's the problem often I find with people. They talk about goals, the things they're going to do, but they're not asking the really key question. And that is, where am I at today? If you're poor, say you're poor. If you're struggling, say you're struggling then set a plan to achieve the goals you want to achieve. Now, before I share the third question with you, could I ask you to like this video and consider subscribing? And thank you to those who have subscribed only recently. Okay, let's get to that third question. And the third question is this, is this a should goal or a must goal? Many people, I believe, set goals that really are should goals. There is no compromise 
on must goals. I have a must goal. That must goal is that I've got to do 60 minutes of exercise five times a week. I get two days rest. And I have an app called Pacer that will tell me whether or not I'm achieving that end. And so at the moment, I think my streak is 117 days. Before that, I actually had to have a, a slight operation for carpal tunnel in my wrists. And so I lost my streak, but I'm back on the streak now. And it's a must goal. I simply won't compromise on that goal of five days exercise, one hour each day, every week. So ask yourself, if you're not achieving the goal that you've set back in January, and we're now into July, and you're still doing the same old thing, the same old way, this is really a goal you want to achieve. If it is, you need to make it a must goal. You need to have absolutely no compromise on what you will do to achieve it. People with must goals will do whatever it takes to achieve it. And so if you're feeling that you're not delivering, look at it seriously. Maybe your goal is only a should goal when it should be a must goal. Now, in every video I do, I like to offer you a bonus. And if you don't have goals that you set back in January, if there's things that you really want to achieve, things you want to do, but you don't actually have those goals written down somewhere, then the very first place to start is with a goals workshop. I've actually put a video together. It's the same goals workshop that Mr. Roan taught me. There's a link to that in the comments below. Now, if you found this video useful, I know you will like the other videos that I've done to date on the things that Mr. Roan has shared with me. They're available on a playlist just up there, so you can check those out. Now, if you have set goals, and if you've now come to July and you've realized you're really not achieving, you're not really delivering on what you're truly capable of delivering on, I would ask you to change that. I would ask you to ask those three questions. If you do, I know you will thank me later.